Yo, what's up guys? Sorry for the messy hair, but just want to say before we get into this episode, um, yeah, it's super sick talking about ski sizes, but yeah, let's get right into it and hope you enjoy. Put on your headphones, get some popcorn and enjoy the listen. Welcome to Getting Shreddy with Phoenix Grassel. Today, we are going to talk about what skis will suit you for your skiing style. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the podcast. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the type of skis uh, that you're going to use for your type of skiing. So, <clears throat> yeah, let's get right into it. Um, the main types of skiing are obviously going to be kind of an all-mountain ski, park ski, powder ski, um, those are kind of the three main I'm going to talk about today and not get into cross country skis and any of that, but yeah, um, not too specific, but yeah. So first off, let's talk about like what they are An all mountain ski is basically how it describes it's for all mountain terrain, a little bit of powder, um, not going to excel in powder. Um, it can do groom runs. It's not going to be super good at groom runs, but you know, it's going to do all of them decent not well but decent um so that's kind of it's kind of your all-rounded ski um it's a great first ski to get started on um help you progress just around the mountain hitting side hits and anything you want um then we have a park ski so park ski is not for powder it's it's gonna sink in powder not great because it's usually a 96 underfoot which means it's um underfoot means how wide it is so 96 is not wide enough to float on top of that powder but it's not meant to it's a park ski so um this will be great for hitting rails hitting jumps um super good it can carve pretty good um thin and great for rotations and good aerodynamics for spinning um it's usually going to be twin tip which means there's rocker in the tail and the um tip uh, rocker just means that it's sloped up so uh, if you land a switch on a trick you can fully ride out switch and so it'll ski basically the same uh, switch or forwards um, okay and then we have powder skis powder skis are gonna be big clunky floater skis um, they're usually 115 to 120 uh, underfoot maybe 110 um, so yeah a beefy big floaty ski um, super wide, um, powder skis are usually, um, uh, a little bit longer just to get that float, but, and usually not center mounted, um, whereas park skis are center mounted, um, just so you have your, uh, weight evenly distributed on powder skis, you sit a little farther back so you can float on that powder, but yeah, they're gonna be wider, um, they're gonna be heavier, and they're really for, powder skiing, um, hitting backcountry jumps, um, not great for groomers. Um, I've had a powder ski that do all right on groomers. They're actually one of my favorite groomer skis, but they're obviously not going to be as good as a carving ski or an all mountain ski for grooms. Um, yeah. So then we have like kind of little niche ones. We have touring skis, which are basically, um, a little less wide, um, powder ski, um, it's used for um, obviously touring so your foot can walk in the bindings and you can uh, put skins on them so you can hike up the um, mountain um, but yeah all right guys I'm back sorry for the interruption um, also my voice is pretty bad uh, I think I'm getting sick or something but yeah as I was saying touring skis you can put skins on them uh, you can basically skin up the mountain, which is sliding the ski, and then the skin basically just grips the snow um, instead of just boot hiking it up. Um, then there's also carving skis, which are definitely not twin tipped, uh, way thinner and just meant for carving. No powder, no nothing. Um, but yeah, um, main ones all mountain, powder, and park. Um, yeah, so next let's talk about uh, ski length. Um, for park skiing, I'd recommend starting out at around your height. So a ski that's around 
the height, um, maybe a teensy bit below. Um, the more advanced you are, the higher I'd go, maybe like two, three inches above your head, um, just to give you more support on the rails. Um, it's going to be harder to spin, but once you get the spins down, you'll have more control and kind of know how to spin on a longer ski, but all around it'll feel way more um, stable in the air. But yeah, start off with something your height, maybe a little bit below, and once you progress, start maybe go up an inch or two couple centimeters um yeah um for all mountain ski i'd recommend kind of maybe anywhere from eye level to two inches above your head just for kind of your level and where you're at um kind of it's all personal preference for that kind of the stability you want and how you want it to carve and jump and everything but yeah I level to two inches above your head would work perfect. Um, for a powder ski, I'd go on the long grand. So I'd go like um, maybe two inches, three inches uh, above your head, maybe four. Like my powder skis are 171s and my park skis are 168s. Oh wait, no, sorry. Powder skis are 178s. Uh, park skis are 168s. So that's a 10 centimeter difference from a park ski to a powder ski. So you can kind of see the difference there, but they're obviously not uh, center mounted, so you can get more flow on the powder. But yeah, I'd go definitely above your height. I wouldn't go anything lower than your height just for powder floating capabilities and um, just having good turns in the powder and staying stable. So yeah. Um, I'm not really an expert on carving skis too much. I'd say maybe eye level to start out, um, head level. Um, depends on what you want to do um, and what, how much stable you like, the stability you want, and also your level. Um, for touring skis, I'd say around an all mountain ski for sure, because you want to be able to have stability skiing down, um, and it's kind of an all mountain ski for that. Um, but yeah there's also different categories like big mountain skis big mountain like backcountry freestyle which are kind of bigger powder skis kind of like the chris uh bent chetler the 120s those are uh, a pair there's the 115s um yeah so that's kind of more trick oriented in the backcountry as well as having uh powder float um to them so yeah it really depends on what you're going for and your uh, experience level the kind of the more you get uh, more experience in the ski industry and the more you're probably gonna want a longer ski like after I ski my big skis it's it's hard to find a ski that feels the same way just because it's so stable but yeah that's kind of a little breakdown of what you're going for I'd say if you're a first-time skier try a carving ski or an all-mountain ski um, obviously skis are expensive and if you're not sponsored, they can be a lot to purchase. So yeah, work your way up. Um, if you want to get into park skiing, get a park ski, um, powder ski, also super sick touring ski. Yeah. They're all so cool. Um, but yeah, I start out if you're a first time skier as something easy and something that you can learn how to ski on, then expand from there. Um, hope you enjoyed this little episode. Uh, hopefully we will have Bruce Oldman, uh, Olympic skier and my coach on here soon. Uh, it would be super sick. So yeah, stay tuned for those, uh, episodes coming out, um, in the near future and, um, yeah, go get shreddy and I'll see you guys next time.